Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. We got a beautiful one for you here today. 1987 Silverado, three quarter ton, completely restored. This baby is sharp. From the body, to the paint, to the restoration, somebody put a lot of blood, sweat, tears, and money in this one. Take advantage of the restoration. Look at the door jams, the, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, margins there on the doors, nice and even all the way from top to bottom. Let's check out the interior. Beautiful interior. Amazing truck, guys. Remember, at Vanguard, we own all our vehicles, so when you see them in our showroom, that's because we deemed them quality to purchase and write a check for them. Looks like everything is new underneath. You can see it from here. Check out the bed. It's got like a Rhino line uh, spray in there, but it's colored, which is cool. All the glasses in really nice shape. Sitting on it looks like a brand new set of BF Goodrich All Terrain TAs. Remember, I'm available seven days a week at 248 974 9513. You can give me a call, I can help you with financing, transportation, and ultimately parking this dream in your driveway. Hey guys, let's go for a ride now in this bad boy. 1987, three quarter ton Silverado. I'll tell you what, I've driven a lot of these lifted trucks and they don't always drive so nice all the time. This one really handles really nice. Um, got a little bounce to it, just like they all do, but as far as handling, it's really nice. Um, beautiful truck. It's got about 550 miles on the restoration. Everything is really sharp on it even the paint inside here on the dash below the dash here it's painted um, somebody did a phenomenal job we got the air condition on right now because it's real humid here in Michigan it's blowing nice and cold for us all the gauges are operating correctly looks like the clock is not working which is a pretty much normal thing they didn't work from the day they were born radio works I tested that out it's got power windows power door locks um, all the glass looks beautiful no chips or scratches or anything like that remember at Vanguard Motor Sales we're non-consignment so everything you see in our showroom is here because we want it here and this was one of them phenomenal restoration we can help you with financing, transportation, you reach me. My name is Tom at 248-974-9513. I'm available seven days a week to help you park this dream in your driveway. This one even has cruise. I'm going to see if that works here. As soon as we turn out, I really want to go find a swamp and just take this thing off roading though. Remember, we're located here in Plymouth, Michigan. We'd love to have you come see us. So you can give me a call and fly in. 
and uh, come check out our inventory. This is our um, our business right here on the right, and we're gonna go in there now. We're gonna get this baby up in the air and show you just how clean the underside is. Okay, guys, we have our long box, three quarter ton Chevy pickup truck on the rack. So first thing I wanna point out is how clean underneath the bed is. Uh, you can see here that if this is an original bed, I'm not sure if they remake these or not. Um, it has definitely been media blasted and then of course repainted. Um, if it is a new bed, well, then that's pretty believable considering what it looks like under here. Um, the frame looks to be original to the truck, of course, and it looks like, once again, it has been media blasted and painted, if not powder coated. I can't really tell uh, which it is. But uh, either which way, we have uh, stainless brake lines here, stainless flex line, um, stainless, uh, of course, like it looks to be all pre bent stuff too for the truck, so it looks like they ordered the nice stuff for it. Uh, as far as the rear axle goes, this is a GM 14 bolt full floater, open differential. Um, now, the full floater thing, that's something that only the three quarter trucks came with. Um, like I said, 411 gear ratio, open differential. We got uh, brand new looking drums on it, brand new wheel cylinders I can see up inside of here. Uh, this truck was gone through pretty extensively. Another thing I want to point out while I'm back here is the lift on the truck. Um, it was done with springs, like not, not just lift blocks, how a lot of people will do. This is actually a spring lifted truck, which to me is uh, the more correct way of doing it. This here is just a pinion angle adjustment, is all that is. Uh, moving forward, you can see it's obviously got a brand new exhaust system on it, Flow Monster mufflers. Um, on either side of those, we got a set of brand new gas tanks in it. Um, looks like the, because it is a twin tank truck, you can see here this little diverter valve has all been rebuilt. Another thing I'm going to point out while I'm up here too, it looks like it's got all new cab mounts in it. No big surprise given, you, you guys can see for yourselves, this truck was uh, restored pretty extensively. A lot of the time, you don't see them restored this nice. Um, transfer case, this is a new process gear, 208. Uh, this is the aluminum model, kind of correct for this truck, and the year lines up to be correct for an 87. Um, transmission, you have a turbo 400, three-speed automatic. Now, I know it said it had a 411 gear ratio in it. However, uh, you know, with your three-speed transmission here, some people think that might be a little bit much, but with the tire size, it actually works out fairly well to be fairly drivable. Um, as far as your front diff goes, you have a GM 10 bolt. Uh, once again, same, uh, same gear ratio as the rear, open differential, locking hubs, disc brakes in the front. And of course here they got uh, stainless flex lines on it here because when you lift a truck, you need to extend these and they've done that up here as well. I can see it's got a remanufactured tag still on the uh, uh, brand new power steering box there, brand new rag joint. Uh, once again, all the brake lines up here, stainless pre-bent stuff, brand new metering block, looks like brand new bushings in the front sway bar here, uh, rough country suspension um, stabilizing links up here as well. Uh, of course, the shocks, as I would mentioned in the back, all that has been replaced too with a rough country lift kit type stuff. Um, coming around the side here, I, another thing I want to point out too, all the ball joints in this front end are all moved, all been replaced. All the steering components look like they're all brand new as well. I mean, overall, there's pretty much nothing left on, untouched on this truck. So, as far as wheel of tires go, we have BF Goodrich All-Terrain uh, all Radial TAs. Excuse me, BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAs. I'm so used to seeing the BF Goodrich Radial TA. Um, see here, we got a good looking set of uh, aluminum wheels on it. You can see our disc brake poking out from in there. And then something else I'm gonna point out to you is the DOT code. Brand new wheels and tires on this thing. You can see it's still got the little nipples on it. These have basically virtually no miles on them. As we're walking to the back, something else I'm going to point out too is the paint job below on the truck. Um, typically speaking, uh, you're not going to see something this, this nice unless it's on a really, really high quality build. And you can see how well the body guy did all this body work all the way down on this lower edge of the truck. I mean, even on this little lip here. Uh, this is not something you're going to see very often, which is very, very nice to see on this one. Once again, just kind of uh, the details like this is kind of what separates this restoration from a lot of the other ones that you're going to see out there. So uh, for the rear here, we have same size. I think this is a 315 75 R16. Uh, same good looking wheel. We've got drum brakes in the rear, if I didn't already mention it. And uh, 2019 date code. I'm assuming these tires are all brand new, bought, bought together as a, as a set. So uh, one thing before I go up underneath the hood, it's something I wanted to point out, just to kind of show the build quality of the truck. If you look up inside of here, I see painted stuff, clear coat, all, I mean, way all up in here. This truck was definitely taken apart to have all this done. Once again, things like that are what kind of separates this build from, uh, from most. A very, very nice build on this one. So that all being said, let's take a look at the 350 crate engine under the hood. Okay, guys, under the hood, we have a 350 engine here. Now, as I mentioned underneath, this is uh, not the original engine. This is actually a remanufactured brand new engine. Um, so a couple of things they've done to it is uh, it actually has the original, like uh, I should say period correct, 
TBI setup for, for this truck. And I didn't know that uh, Edelbrock made this, but it actually has a TBI Performer intake manifold on it as well. It's like an aluminum intake manifold for this one. Uh, now, as far as the uh, engine bay goes on this truck, you can see that they, of course, took everything off of the firewall, which is no small order for a truck of this vintage to take everything off there to paint it really nice, and then clean everything up and then reassemble it. Uh, once again, kind of just a testament to the little bit higher build quality on this truck than what you normally get. Um, of course, uh, this truck is, uh, has AC, power brakes, power steering. Once again, all new lines up here as well, no big surprise. Um, all this stuff looks like they even got remanufactured stickers for it. It still has its jack in place over here. All of like the plastic tanks look like they're in really, really nice shape, something you don't often see. Uh, same thing with like all of our AC stuff over here. All this stuff basically virtually looks brand new on it. Uh, more modern style battery in it. And uh, something this truck actually has, if I kick this step stool over here so I can get up here, um, it actually has still the little smog pump on there. It doesn't have the belt on it right now, but it even has a lot of the smog components on it too, which is really wild. So overall, very, very nice quality build truck. And uh, I think you know, what you've seen here kind of uh, shows that. So that all being said, if you'd like to have this one parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this truck in your driveway. We'll see you in the next one.